welcome back to another video. Um, so today we are reading an Inumaki Hashibira, I think I said that right, ex-listener, requested a long, long time ago and way overdue by Marnie Harris. So thank you, Marnie, for being patient with me. Anyways, we're out here. This story is not written by me. It is written by Sleepy Zell on Wattpad. I will leave the link in the description below if you want to go check the whole story out because this is a bundle of Inu... Uh, I said Inumaki. And no X reader one shots. I really said Inumaki. I hope I didn't... Oh gosh. Okay. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. This is titled, You Dumbass, You Did It. So, yeah. <laughs> Why the hell do I have to go on a mission with her? Inosuke yelled. Calm down, you said nonchalantly. The hell did you say? I said calm down. The mission will be quick, let's just get it over with. He growled in response, walking away angrily. Sorry for the trouble, Wyan. We couldn't take him on this mission. Tanjiro apologized, but you just shrugged. It doesn't matter if he comes with me, as long as he doesn't get in my way or anything. He smiled and thanked you, running off. You caught up with Inosuke and stayed silent, not wanting to disturb him. When you got to the mission site, he looked around and sniffed the air. You walked up toward a local shop and looked at the shopkeeper. Hi, my friend and I- I'm not your friend, Inosuke shouted, interrupting you. Sorry. My teammate and I are demon slayers. We're searching for a demon that has been hunting the streets of this town. Do you have any information? The shopkeeper nodded and stood in silence, thinking, Actually, I do have information about the demon. It looks like a female, and it's been killing all sorts of people. It's been the talk of the town lately. And Nosuke pulled out his sword. Something seems sketchy here, he comments. You look up to the shop. It was dimly lit, letting no light from the sun in. Anosuke, let's go. Eh? Don't tell me what to do, brat. Anosuke, trust me, we need to leave. The shopkeeper glared at you. Oh, leaving so soon. You nodded and dragged Anosuke out. I know where the demon is. You whispered. Huh? How? You better not be lying, moron. He yelled. Anosuke. The shopkeeper was a demon. There is no light in there. He gave us a false description of the demon. Did you notice that? He stared blankly at you. When we were told about the mission, they said the demon was a male, not female. They said he was rumored to be living a normal life, pretending to be human. He just couldn't go out into the sun. Realization hit Inosuke's face. That means the shopkeeper is a demon. I- Yes, Inosuke, that's what I said. He ran back into the shop before the shopkeeper could even respond, and Inosuke slaughtered him. Well, that's one way to deal with it, you muttered. That was the weakest demon ever. I wanted a fight, damn it, he shouted. You sighed and patted his back. Just wait for the next mission you go on. I'm sure you'll face a stronger demon. You know, you aren't half bad, dumbass, he admits, crossing his arms. I guess I'll let you join me on another mission. You sighed at his arrogance. Gee, thanks. I'll take you up on that offer, by the way. Solo missions are boring. And Oske patted your back. Hard. Soon the two of you were the famous Demon Slayer duo who could easily defeat any demons that crossed your path. On one mission, you were targeting a demon who had the power of controlling white little spiders and spider-like threads. She could also make puppets out of dead demon slayers and control them with a thread. Mother Spider. Where is that damn spider? Inosuke complained as he walked in front of you. I don't know, but be on guard. She could be anywhere. I know that dumbass. You bonked him on the head and shushed him. He rolled his eyes. Wait, stop moving, he said. You stopped walking and held your breath. Inosuke stood completely still. He could feel all the movements around him, even your heartbeat. Aha, he shouted. I found you, demon. He ran straight ahead, carelessly. Inosuke, wait, you idiot. What if it's a trap? You ran after him. A person was walking through the forest. You tapped on Inosuke's shoulder, and he noticed the person, too. 
Oi, who are you? He shouted and you hit him on his arm. Not so loud, damn it, you whispered. The person just stared at the two of you. There was no emotion in their eyes. Suddenly, they ran towards the two of you with a sword in their hands. It's a demon slayer. You gasped, surprised. When they got close to you, Inosuke pushed you out of the way. Hey, we're on the same side, he shouted. The person said nothing. They just kept attacking. Inosuke, look above them. There's a thread. The demon must be controlling them. You exclaimed as you fought them off. Cut the thread, you yelled. He tried, but nothing happened. You looked up as you dodged another attack. Thread. Everywhere. It's all over the forest. I have an idea, you muttered. You threw the person up in the air and threads caught him, making him get stuck. Their body became limp. Anosuke looked at you, confused. When those things attacked us, you started, pointing at the limp demon slayer. Throw them up in the air. Have the threads catch them. Now let's go find the demon. He nodded, and the two of you fought many of the dead demon slayers. It disturbed you, hurting one of your comrades, even if they were dead. It didn't feel right. Eventually, the two of you saw a huge demon with no head. You gulped in Inosuke and went after it immediately. Inosuke, be careful. It doesn't have a neck or a head. You can't kill it. You attacked it, also trying to protect Inosuke. He growled and attacked it anyway, getting thrown in the other direction. He stood there, using his senses of touch to find the demon you were after. His face lit up and he grabbed you, carrying you away from the headless demon. Anosuke leaned in towards your face, giving you a quick kiss. You stared at him in shock. Anosuke, I... Brace yourself. He threw you through the woods and you landed in front of a female demon wearing a white kimono. You gathered your composure and readied yourself for a fight. That idiot, Anosuke. Now I can't think straight, moron. Before she could even manipulate her threads, you jumped and kicked the tree, giving you enough momentum to attack. She opened her arms, closing her eyes. What is she? Is she just letting me kill her? Is she welcoming death? Does she really prefer death instead of a life as a demon? You sliced her neck neatly, and a tear rolled down your cheek. I'm sorry, you whispered. I hope that in death, you can be happier. You prayed for her and ran back towards Inosuke, who stood on top of the demon. You did it, you dumbass. You did it, he shouted. He ran towards you, headbutting you, then pulling you into a hug. Hey, Inosuke? Yeah. About that kiss, you smirked. Can I get another one? He blushed and pulled you close, kissing your lips. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. These are my... My, my BB guns. It <laughs> sounds weird. <laughs> my voice gone cranky. It's okay, though, because I don't care. We are going to get through anything together because because we are we are the the, the, the um we are the creators. We are the creators, so we can get through anything together. Even my cranky voice. Aha! I live by that. Okay. Mm. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry for rushing it. Uh, okay, <laughs> um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, goodbye loves. You know, you weren't half bad, dumbass, he admits, crossing his arms. He really sounds like, um, <laughs> Kachan, doesn't he? Well then, 